roughly 40 people have now died after the Hirakhand Express derailed at the Orisha Andhra border on Sunday. An anti terror team is now there looking into suspicions of sabotage. Train services are back, but this big worry after the recent Kanpur tragedy, where apparently there is an involvement of the ISI. 18 year old Chotu can't believe he's alive, though too injured to speak much. Chotu and his group of 15 were jolted out of their slumber when the train derailed and jumped off the tracks. This family was stuck inside the coach for close to two hours before being finally rescued. Seven members of this family have died and Chotu doesn't know when he'll be back on his feet again. Carrying out the funeral of seven family members and taking care of Chotu, his younger sister is inconsolable. The CRPF says the casualties could have been higher. Had the Raigarh collector and the CRPF camp nearby not acted promptly. On reaching the spot, we divided the teams into two parts. One team was taking care of the injured and the second team actually uh, rushed to the coach where Five live passengers are trapped. An Andhra CID team investigating the accident says sabotage is unlikely and a broken track was most likely the cause. But then questions arise over how the faulty track wasn't noticed. However, an NIA team is also conducting a parallel inquiry. This after revelations by suspects arrested in the Kanpur rail tragedy that has led to suspicions of sabotage. On the Orissa Andhra border with Sabisachi Panigrahi and Saurav Gupta, Yash Chavla, NDTV.